Welcome to the first episode of the City of God Families, a short monthly podcast for the entire family with the hope that it inspires meaningful conversations and equips parents and children with a biblical worldview. The City of God Families is produced by Coral Ridge Ministries and the Institute for Faith and Culture. I'm Pastor Rob Pacienza, and today we're talking about the theme of all of Christ for all of life. One of the greatest temptations we all face is ignoring God in our daily lives. Maybe we go to church on Sunday or attend youth group, but then we go about our days at work, at school, or with friends and family, and God never comes to mind. It's easy for us to think that Sunday is God's day, but every other day is our day. Sadly, this is the opposite of what God would have for us. God did not create us to only have a relationship with us one day a week, but to walk with us every day of the week. Jesus came into the world to save us and to show us the way. Paul says in Colossians 1, Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God, and it's through Jesus that God created all things, things in heaven, things on earth. Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together, and he has reconciled all things by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Paul uses the phrase all things many times to refer to Jesus. He created all things. He is before all things. He holds together all all things, and he reconciles all things by death on the cross. If all things were made by Jesus and for Jesus, and he holds all things together, that means there isn't one part of our life that Jesus doesn't care about. He created the world and called it good. And then he created us and called it very good. That means your life, the, the body you have, the family you were born into, the town you live in, every last detail was all his idea and a very good idea at that. You are living the life that Jesus gave to you as a gift. And the only way to live that life well is to live with Jesus in mind. If we live in the world God created without even thinking about God, it would be like trying to ride a bike without using the pedals. You wouldn't get very far. You can only ride a bike by using the pedals because bicycles were designed to work that way. In the same way, if you yelled to your TV to turn on, nothing would happen. Why? Because a TV was designed to work with a remote. If you don't press the on button, it won't turn on, no matter how loudly you yell. In the same way, God designed everything in the world, and he designed it to work in a particular way. This means that the only way for things to work well in our lives is if we live with God in mind to remember what he has told us and to do what God says. God created us so that each and every week, our relationship with him would get deeper and so that we would learn to think of him first, no matter where we are. It isn't just Sunday when we gather for worship that Jesus holds things together. All things, your work, your schooling, your relationship with your brothers and sisters and friends, all things are held together by Jesus. The good news is that if you trust in Jesus, you're never alone. He promises, I will be with you always. This means that he is there to help us do the right thing, to make wise choices, and even to love difficult people or those who don't like us. As we all grow, Jesus is helping us to remember that he is there with us. And when we remember this, he helps us to become people that follow him, people who listen to what he says, who act as he wants us to act. And trust God, even as he trusted his own father. Jesus is the center of all life, the center of your family's life, the center of your life. And that's very good news. Now for some discussion time, I want you to think, is it easy to forget about God as you go about your day? What are some ways that might help you to remember God and to connect with him each day? What's something you do every week? For parents, it could be work, preparing meals, taking your kids from one appointment to another. For kids, it could be school, homework, doing chores, or practicing a sport or an instrument. If Jesus holds all things together, that means he holds all these things together too. If you remember Jesus when you do these regular tasks, and many of them aren't easy, how might that change how you approach them? or the attitude you have while doing them. Your life is a gift from God. What is something about your life today that you're thankful for? Tell each other what you're thankful for and then pray together, 
giving thanks to God for those great things. Thanks for tuning in to the City of God Families, produced by Coral Ridge Ministries in partnership with the Institute for Faith and Culture. If you were encouraged or inspired today, please consider passing this episode along to another family in your church or in your community. I want to thank you once again for listening, and we'll see you next time right here on City of God Families. The City of God podcast is produced by Coral Ridge Ministries and made in partnership with the Institute for Faith and Culture. Visit us at cityofgodpodcast.com to access all of our previous episodes. You can also listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, or anywhere you get podcasts. A full video version of this podcast is available on YouTube. This is the City of God Podcast, where Christ meets culture.